All right, I want to talk to you. A really important topic that comes up constantly for me in the fitness industry is about diet compliance. Is it really that important? Well, we need to look beyond the shallow aspects of it of, oh, I had a cheat, but it didn't affect my weight, or um, I had a cheat, but I looked the same, so it's no big deal, or things like that. But I want to dig deeper and delve deeper into the reflections of diet consistency and diet compliance and what they really mean and why it is important. Now, I was reminded of this today when a client wrote me and had that kind of expressed that kind of sentiment. So we need to look beyond the surface and know that the surface is providing a reflection. So let's say that again. When it comes to diet compliance, look beyond the surface knowing that the surface provides a reflection. So what do I mean by that? Well, I had a client email me this morning and the exact words were from the client were, and I quote, I had the smallest cheat this weekend. It didn't change anything in my body, so I'm not really that worried about it. Now, here's the thing. Knowing this client, good client, does really well, I replied back that that's a slippery slope. And I replied back, never excuse something like that, like a diet cheat or a diet indiscretion if it's unplanned and not part of the strategy. It then becomes too easy in your mind to excuse it again the next time and to make a rationalization again the next time, oh, it didn't hurt me last time I cheated on my diet. You're playing with fire there, and remember the expression, the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. So that's one reason you need to be consistent and compliant with a diet strategy. But here is the deeper lesson that you need to absorb that goes beyond the shallow surface level of diet compliance. Don't make it about diet compliance. Make it about the kind of person you want to be and the kind of character you want to have, the kind of character you want to own, and the kind of character you want to live up to. Do you really want to be the kind of person who just makes an excuse and makes a rationalization when you feel like not doing what you need to do to accomplish a goal? So let's keep in mind also that Consistent commitment and sacrifice are required to reach a goal. To sustain that goal requires vigilance, constant and committed vigilance. So if you make it easy in your mind to excuse a diet indiscretion, um, you know, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. And that's how and why most people end up failing themselves when it comes to physique transformation. So do you want to be one of the hordes and masses who rationalizes and excuses every time you don't live up to a higher standard? Or do you want to measure up to that higher standard by abiding in it all the time? So there's a bigger issue here in terms of diet psychology than just mere diet compliance and whether or not it hurt you on the weight scale or in the mirror. That compliance or that lack of compliance is a reflection of your character. And I believe that constantly. I'll get people who tell me, for instance, oh, I did pretty well on my diet. I, I had three days this week where I didn't cheat once. Well, I haven't cheated on my diet strategy for seven days a week for 25 plus years. So it's one of those things where uh, practice makes perfect, yes, but also you need to create a higher standard and live up to it because how you follow or don't follow your diet strategy is a reflection of your true character. And I truly, truly believe that. So now, having said that, there's a difference between levels of transitioning and adapting to a healthier diet strategy. For instance, another client wrote me and said, oh, I made a mistake on my diet this week. I planned on a cheat meal on the weekend and it turned into a whole cheat, cheat weekend. That's not a mistake. That's a choice. So people need to get across in their mind how you talk to yourself makes a real, real difference in terms of outcomes. So a mistake would be, oh, hey, coach, you told me to weigh such and such a food um, before I cooked it, but I was measuring it after I cooked it. Uh, that's a mistake. But when you say, 
I planned on only having a cheat meal, but I cheated all weekend. Or I was going to a social event and I, I took my food with me, but I didn't eat it. I ended up eating all the, all the junk that was there. That's not a mistake. That's a choice that you make. So you re need to realize that these things are different from each other. A mistake and a choice are vastly different things. When you call a choice to not follow your diet strategy, just a mistake that you made, then you're using rationalization in your mind. So is it really important that you don't uh, stick to your diet or you do stick to your diet? Yes, because the surface reflects your character. And if you make it about character, for instance, I always, I said in my books, you see my book, The Anti-Diet Approach behind me there. I talk about this a lot in there. And what I talk about is if you make your diet compliance be about character rather than being about the diet and about the weight scale, then you're likely to live up to that higher standard and you're not as likely to make excuses for breaking it just because you feel like it. So this is important diet strategy, diet psychology stuff that you need to understand. Yes, it is important how consistent and compliant you are to following a healthy diet strategy because that surface is a reflection of something deeper and it's a reflection of your character. So if you want the outcomes, you have to be compliant with the sacrifices required to reach them. So that's really, really important stuff and it merited and warranted doing a video about it because I see people all the time starting with these little rationalizations and then they end up wondering why uh, it all went down the tubes as they go down, down, further down the road. Now having said that there is a difference between someone like myself who's followed a sound cycle diet strategy for 30 plus years and someone who's just switching from you know skipping breakfast and then eating lunch at the lunch truck outside their work and then going through the drive through on the way home that's a different thing when it's going to take you a while to transition into a consistent healthy eating habit in terms of environment food choices uh palatability things like that that's going to take time and that transition is understandable and that's acceptable and i coach people along the way with that but not following a diet strategy and calling a choice a mistake um, that's a reflection of character and you need to be distinct about the two so yes following a diet strategy consistently whether you feel like it or not is a big reflection on your character and that's what physique transformation fitness working out weight control that's what it should all be about it should be about personal growth so there's no personal growth if you keep excusing and rationalizing away the reasons why you aren't compliant look for a reason not to do something and you will find it all right look for a reason to maintain and continue something because it reflects your character and you will always abide in it so in terms of a mistake versus a choice imagine a professional athlete showing up uh, a week later and saying oh uh, sorry coach I made a mistake and I skipped practice all week that's not a mistake that's a choice now if that same professional athlete showed up and said oh sorry coach I thought practice was at our other facility and I went there instead that's a mistake so there's a huge huge difference between an excuse and a rationalization and a choice and, and calling that a mistake and an actual mistake. And there's a big difference between transitioning into compliance and then actual compliance as a reflection of your character. This is why I do this stuff. This is why this can be such an important vehicle to personal growth, but you have to look at the deeper issue. It goes beyond whether or not a diet indiscretion affected your weight or affected how you look in the mirror. There's a deeper issue. Your diet consistency or lack thereof is a reflection of your character. Boom! I'll see you in the next video.